Hey everybody, Eric Schweitzer here for The Gamer, and we are back with another video in our Game Awards series. I'm here today with George Foster, who has the enviable task of defending Super Mario Bros. Wonder for Game of the Year. How you doing, George? Uh, I feel like I have been set up a little bit here. This is... <laughs> you, I need you to be confident, okay? That's what I've got. I need you to yeah. bring it. Now, I, it's true, I think... I think you have the most difficult task. I think it's fair to say that of the six contenders for Game of the Year, uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder might be the least favored. You think that's fair? What does that say about this year that Mario... That's a good point. It's the underdog. That is that is crazy for 2023. Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, I love Wonder. I know you love Wonder. So let's just start out. Give me the broad strokes. Why do you think that it deserves to win Game of the Year? Uh, so I'll start off by saying I'm I'm fight for wonder because Hi-Fi Rush wasn't nominated. <laughs> That's why you're, I'm, you're, here. I'm sorry. The beginning of your argument is this is the <laughs> consolation game. It's the closest thing to Hi-Fi Rush we've got on this list. Yeah. <laughs> no, I loved Wonder. Um, out of all of the games that are nominated, they're all incredible in their own way. But when I think of Wonder, I think of fun. I think of just an amazing time of the game you know like you just i look back on it and i think it's some of the most fun i've had in 2023 yeah which i know is like such a like a, a basic thing fun but like that's what we're that's what we're here for right you know i didn't feel that i haven't played enough fallon wake 2 to jump on the train there as much but i i haven't felt fun with that uh boulder's gate mm. don't get me started that is not not for me at all but wonder that's my jam you know that's my stuff it is it is without a doubt the uh, the crowd pleaser, and I think, and not to make your argument for you, but there's certainly something to be said about having a you know in all ages, everyone can enjoy kind of game because of all the games on the list, you know this is the only game that my wife played. Like this is the only game that we played together, yep. and so for her and for lots and lots of people. This is sort of the like de facto game of the year because it's the only one that they played, right? Right. Well, the closest like, you get is Spider Man Two, I guess, because it's Marvel. But and, even then, like, and even then, you have to be a a gamer. You have to be yeah. a capital G gamer to be a, a Spider Man Two fan. You do. Um, but I I played Wonder with my nephew. I played Wonder with people that don't play games. Yeah, that's uh, a good point. So... I, I've played Wonder like with a few friends. Like they've come over and I've been like, "Hey, new Mario, pop it on." And like they've, right. they've not run it. They've paid attention for five minutes and then said Mario Kart. But, you know, compared to the others, I'm counting <laughs> that as a win. That's on, that's on my side there. Yeah. And I think, you know, the the game industry is huge. The culture is, is, is expansive, very inclusive. But we also do have to remember that not everyone plays games, right? True. Uh, and when there's opportunities to expand our circle, uh, I think that's a big deal. So... There, 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 there's me helping you out with Mario. Yeah, thank God, because I, <laughs> this is, like, I never thought it would be a tough, like, a tough sell to say that Mario should win Game of the Year, right? Like, any other time, like, think back to Odyssey, Galaxy, um, I don't know why that is, because I think Wonder's just as good as any of them. Like, I think it's probably so, the best 2D Mario there is. Yeah, that that's kind of interesting because I I wouldn't necessarily argue every Mario was game of the year quality, uh, especially no. when it comes to the two D ones. Like I'm not a big fan of uh, New Super Mario. Oh and, no, like, okay, all yeah, the, well, the Wii Wii U generation of two D Mario, right? They almost don't count to, especially for my <laughs> argument that I'm trying to make here. We can forget they existed. Yeah, um, but that that's I think that's point number one for me, in is compared especially to the new super mario games the wii u the you know all those ones the amount of personality that's been put into wonder like in every single frame no other game this year has that like you look at mario's little run you look at elephant mario trying to fit through a door like the little transformations when they pick up a power up like everything about it like nintendo bought their a game for it yeah that, that's been from the moment it was revealed my favorite thing absolutely Speaking of Nintendo bringing their A game, I think the the elephant in the room we got to address here, and we can go back to Mario Odyssey too, 
because you know Mario Odyssey didn't win Game of the Year. It was beat by Breath of the Wild. And oh, here God. we are again. Yeah, here we are again. Tears of the Kingdom versus uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I hate to start my arguments by knocking down the competition, but Tears of the Kingdom just didn't hit like Breath of the Wild did for me. Oh, that's not the most popular opinion, George. No, I know that's controversial. I know it's going to be emails directed my way, but I still liked it. Like, I still liked it a lot. But, oh, no. No, like, I love Breath of the Wild. It's, like, one of my favorite yeah. games of all time. But Tears of the Kingdom just... I don't know. I, I, I guess I didn't enjoy the building as much. Um, I wasn't a big fan of, like, going up in the sky, except for just seeing more of the world. The depths I didn't enjoy at all. Like, everyone's like, the depths is the best bit, and... I don't know, not a fan. So I I will agree that there are parts of Tears of the Kingdom I did not like. Mm. Um, I also thought that the grind for batteries in the depths was yeah. just a, a big time sink that yep. did not need to be in this game, uh, was unnecessary. Uh, and you know what? I did not feel that way about Wonder. I didn't feel like it had dull stretches or like filler. Um, it felt like every level I played had an intention and a direction yep. and was all very purposeful. Um, and it does, it didn't really drag. Like it was pretty easy to get through that game. It's not a long game. Right. Um, well, that's sort of, that's, I've, I've seen that opinion a lot, actually. Um, especially when it's come to game of the year discussions, people writing Mario off, like too easy, wasn't interested. And I, one, I don't really see an issue of a game being like too easy necessarily, but two, like once you get past the third or fourth world, things like really ramp up. Like especially in terms of like um I'm trying to think of there's one level where you're doing when you're riding clouds on like one of Bowser's air fortresses. Like that was actually quite difficult. Like it's not a cakewalk. I think there's actually some levels that are quite quite challenging. It's a good point, but you've also reminded me that there is something I hate about oh, go on. Wonder. Go. The wall jumping. Really? I hate it. I think it's terrible. I think that the delay, I know we're really in the weeds now, but the way <laughs> the way that you go against a wall and don't immediately grab it and don't immediately start sliding so you can jump away, you have to like hit the wall, wait until you've activated wall jump and then jump away makes those those fast levels where you're wall jumping a lot feel horrible. Together. You know, I, I never noticed that. I don't know if this is going to be like a glass break thing and I should just stop arguing for Wonder right now, but that, <laughs> it didn't feel bad to me. Um, I think to that point, though, you have the badges for that sort of thing. Like, you have the, mm. the kickoff jump for the, the wall jump and the, not that this is a segue, but that does segue perfectly into the badges being like, they need to be a mainstay for Mario from now on. They are so much fun to mess around with. Yeah, the badges are so interesting because it it almost feels like something that Mario's always had. Yeah, like it's it's such a perfect fit that it's surprising, like that we've never seen this before. And it, I totally agree. This should just be a thing Mario has from now on. Yeah, it's weird because it, at first I didn't like the idea of like every character being the same. Like I've always liked Luigi being like a little bit worse to control, but having a better jump and Peach being able to float and stuff, but having that trade-off where you can then just be whoever you want to be and then have the badges. I thought that was a really cool decision. Yeah. Uh, now, defend Nabbit. No, I won't. Uh, yeah. If, if this loses my <laughs> argument, I won't. I, I hate Nabbit. <laughs> Nabbit is crap. Yeah. Nabbit has never been good. Uh, I don't know why Yoshi's easy mode. You know, just have a toggle, let Yoshi be the rest of the cast. That, that does bug me, um, which I probably shouldn't admit because i'm just i'm fully losing my argument here but i also want to i also want to take a, a jab at the fact that so many levels reuse tracks i know it's a maybe that's a tall order to ask that every level have its own song yeah but it's, i that is true yeah when i heard songs repeated i was like okay guys this is not this level song this song yeah. belongs to a different level but to counter your point the music levels Come Incredible. On, on a plant. Yeah, like how cool is that? Like the yeah. world just wants Rayman Legends again, and I am I'm fine with that, you know. Isn't Wonder just a worse Rayman Legends? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm really hitting you where it hurts. To, to be worse than perfection though is 
you know, a good place to <laughs> it's be. It's true, yeah. yeah. Everything is a worse Rayman's Legends when you look at it that way. Yeah. Should we just yeah. talk about Rayman Legends? Like, I'm I'm fine with that. If we want to do that. <laughs> no, I feel like Wonders... It, it is always going to be hard to argue because I think it just... It does everything you expect and it does it so well. You know, like, it's, it's kind of hard to describe to someone why it's such a fantastic game because it is just a Mario platformer but tighter, smoother, new abilities like I guess I guess the thing that stands out to me is the Wonder Seeds how do you feel about them? Um, I, I, I felt like it was a gimmick that could have been that could have been taken a lot further I, I yep. was much more impressed with the badges than with the Wonder Seeds uh, they are they they suck for replayability like they're not they ha- they're not interesting at all after the first time you see them yeah. and so many of them are just like okay that happened um s- some of them really did impress me i love riding the bulls that break through the flag and take you yeah. further into the level like that is such a cool moment um but a lot of them were very whatever to me I, d- I almost I don't want to speak because I really am trying to defend Wonder here, but <laughs> that makes me instantly think of the multiplayer, which is a uh, oh yeah bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also am not a big fan of the way multiplayer is handled uh, in this game. Yeah, it it decent it de incentivizes you to do any of the stuff that like Wonder's trying to push, and it's just a speed run thing. It's just like, it's, it's just racing. That's all you can really do with it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've said a lot of negative stuff about Wonder, but, like, <laughs> all these things are true, but what it does so well, it does so well that it never really bothered me. Like, mm. I didn't notice music tracks repeating so much. The wall jump thing, maybe I'll notice when I go back and play it again, but, like, none of that stuff took away from just, like, it's such a, like, Wonder is the right word for it. It's just wonderful. Yeah. It's it's so hard to put a game like wonder and Baldur's Gate three in the same category. It, yeah. It's, it's, they're so fundamentally different experiences, right? I, I I'm really going to encourage the emails coming my way about people hating my opinions, but I'm not really a big fan of Baldur's Gate three. Like it didn't capture me like as everyone else. Cause I haven't put enough time into it yet, but even notwithstanding, like, you know how it, it's an accomplishment, right? Like how much it does, how deep it goes, how much it's done for the industry you know it's i I don't want to say that you know wonder should win that's why we're here wonder should win absolutely but you know bald gate freeze probably got it in the bag probably i think i I think that there's really no use trying to decide which is a better game Mm. right they have completely different goals they're yeah they're almost like not they're they're completely two different things I think it's what's more interesting is to talk about which game deserves to be this year's game of the year in the sense like what does game of the year mean and why does Mario wonder embody that more than Baldur's Gate does. Do you have any thoughts about that? Uh, That is, that is a, that is difficult because it's dependent on who you ask. So right. Some people would say, but I'm asking you. (laughs) Okay. Well then for me, it's an easy one. Um, (laughs) I have always valued fun, interesting mechanics, satisfying gameplay over everything else. Like that's what that's what I like games for. Like I love just being sucked into a colorful world full of lovable characters. You know, like wonder is that to me. Wonder is if I if I'm talking about video games, I'm talking about how happy they make me, about how much I love them. I will point to something like wonder. Yeah. I, I think that's as good an argument as any. Um, now, you think, uh, you think between Baldur's Gate and Tears of the Kingdom, it's it's likely Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I think so. I think. Yeah, that's uh, that's what that's the consensus across the videos that we've done so far. We're gonna do our own uh, our own game awards uh, video to go through each of the nominees and try to figure out what's actually gonna win. Um, yeah. But it seems like mo- most of the the TG team is is a line that probably it's going to be Baldur's Gate three because of just 
how popular it is and how much of a cultural presence it has had. And it's been yep. interesting uh, when I see, you know, TikToks and and YouTube videos and takes from people about the Game Awards. I'm surprised that it seems that people didn't know Wonder came out or like don't what? remember that that like it, it it was only a couple months ago. But like people are like, that's the one people point at and they're like, did that even come out this year? And you know, part of that is just what a out, outrageous year for games it's been. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, it surprised it surprises me that uh, Wonder hasn't stayed in the conversation more. Like. Yeah. Uh, but then again, with all Nintendo and with all Mario games, especially, it's going to continue selling, being a top 10 seller for the next 10 years, right? Yeah. I I, I knew when I saw the nominees, um, out of those nominees, I would say one, well, that's why I'm here. Wonder is my choice to win. It's what I would like to win. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I never thought it would. I don't think it will. But how how nice would it be to just for something so like simple, cheerful, happy, just so much fun to win, you know? Yeah, and like well polished and bug free and ostensibly not crunched. Like yep. and and I not not to say the other games on this list are crunched, but um, you know, there's still something about a new Mario game that embodies what we love about this industry. Um and while I I also see merit in celebrating like an indie studio uh, like Larian and what what it accomplished, and same with Remedy, yeah. Um, like there there is something singular about what Nintendo does with these Mario games that there's always room to celebrate that. Yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself. In a, in a in a just in a just world, they'd all win. You know, there's merits to sure. all of them winning. Like there's not. Every other game of the year has had like one game. I've gone. Why are you here? Like you're you're filling the ranks. You know this year, it's, <laughs> everyone every every game deserves it. I will be happy for whoever wins it. Um, but I do yeah. wish it's Hi Fi Rush. Wahoo, brother! Wahoo! That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another Game Awards video tomorrow. Uh, you can read George's full argument in favor of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Link down in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell and visit us at thegamer.com. That's the gamer. No space. Wahoo.